She was born a third of the size of a healthy baby alpaca. She was only two weeks premature, but she was a tiny, tiny baby. Her mom did not pay any attention to her and actually almost stepped on her a couple times. So I pretty quickly brought her inside uh, to take care of her, and Cody ended up living in the house for about six years. I started with bottle feeding her that very day. Cody was a fighter from the day one. She took that bottle as tiny as she was and guzzled it down. And she stayed on the bottle for about five or six years with that nutritional tea. For the first couple of years, Cody was uh, very medically fragile. She would crash at any given moment. We spent many times rushing to the hospital, going on antibiotics. She slipped and broke her leg twice in the first year of her life. It was a lot of touch and go for a while. Once we got past a lot of the medical hurdles, she then started to gain weight and grow, which was really nice. She basically had a pen in my room. Uh, as she got a little bit older and could run around a little bit, I would carry her downstairs for the day, and she also had an area in my living room, basically on a blanket. She wasn't penned in or anything. She was actually um, potty trained by the time she was 10 days old. Quicker than a puppy, she learned to go to the door when she had to go out. Having a, an alpaca in your home is quite different. It is a lot of work, a lot of cleaning. You get hay everywhere. Alpacas are herd animals. They need to have buddies. Cody had cats around. That said, Cody grew up very differently. And at the point that she was healthy enough, I tried to get her outside to play around with other alpacas. She was a bit overwhelmed whenever we would do that. She didn't quite know what to do with all these other alpacas. As she grew up, it was like a year old, and the new babies arrived from the next year. She would go out and they'd be so curious about her and they would try and sniff her and she was so flummoxed. She didn't want anything to do with them. She liked watching them, but she didn't really want them to interact with her. She's still kind of like that. Cody now has a very quiet life. She has three friends. Cody's favorite part of the day is when I go there and open up their little barn and the other three go outside to play and Cody really enjoys having the barn to herself. She stays inside, she has a snack, and she enjoys having her solitary space, just like she always has. Right now, Cody's probably about 90 to 100 pounds. It's nice for her to have friends, it's nice for her to be outside. I'm very happy that currently she is a happy, healthy alpaca.